That was a lot easier as a kid, climbing down the stairs. Kind of hurt a little bit. All right, today it's vlog 486, and uh, today we have some friends and family that are coming over. Ethan is bringing Alexa, the little fireball squirt. She's about this tall now. Ennis is coming also, he's bringing the sun. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna go to the beach. Uh, we made some picnic sandwich stuff and we're going to, uh, I, I didn't mean to say that. Now I'm in trouble, I shouldn't have said that. These dogs are psychic, they know what I'm thinking. Now they're gonna pull a mood all day long. Mary. Torture! Oh, that's so cute. What are we doing? Okay, we're going to the beach and going body surfing. I don't know where we're going, but it could be anywhere, but it's fun, but I've got the rash guard. I'm ready to go. You guys want to get out of here? Yeah! Let's go! Ennis is taking our picture. Yeah! One, two, three! Give me love! Give me love! Beautiful sunset! Ow. Woo! Ow. Stop squeezing! You ready, buddy? I'm so ready. You ready? Yeah! Alright. Uh, we we decided to go to the, the beach at Joffrey's. Yeah, where that big um, staircase is. Kind of looks like you're going to Costa Rica. It's gonna be cool. and Ethan are behind us. We, we, we couldn't fit them. <laughs> Should we try to lose those guys? Yeah. yeah, lose them. It's really hard to lose someone on PCH because it's just one straight road. Yeah. You know, people Unless try to do it. Unless we turn that invisible Wait. mode on. Oh yeah. This car happen? Yeah, the, the uh, Hyundai Santa Fe for 2017 comes with an optional invisible mode. It's really cool because you know, when you decide to, uh, I don't know, maybe go to a Winchell's and not pay, you can jump into your Hyundai and gone. You could actually, don't, you don't have to drive. You can just go and sit in the parking lot, hit the mode button, the car turns invisible, and eat your donuts. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah. November day. Doesn't suck <laughs> to be in November. It's about 80, 82 degrees. Oh, Run! that's a big wave. Come on, Lucas. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the water. Water tied up so I can get some water. Okay. Daddy! Good job!
Just try to pull into the barrel, dislocate his shoulder right on the sand. Ouch. Yeah. He's in a lot of go. pain. Gotta go to the emergency Let's room. Go. Here we go. We'll see you guys there. Call me. I'll call you. I'll call you. Okay. And he landed on the sand really hard and it popped his shoulder out, dislocated his shoulder. He's in a lot of pain. Ethan has taken him to the emergency room. We gotta pack some stuff up and, uh, and meet him down there. Very painful. Those of you that have done that kind of stuff, I know I have. It's not a uh, not a happy thing. Very difficult, painful process. They got to pop it back in. So he's at the hospital. We're grabbing all our stuff, and we're going to be leaving the beach shortly to go meet with him. But those guys are way down there, right there. Stairs, number four. 100 steps. 400 steps, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go meet those guys down in town, grab some ice cream, see how Ennis is doing. All the bones, I mean all the muscles and tendons are messed up, not good. Dang, I need to climb more mountains. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. I got I got the sling action in here. You kind of look a little good. bit like the hunchback. Do I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. So, so what they say? So the doctor said we thought it was a uh, dislocation. So, but it turns out it's a separation of the of the bone and the ligament right on his shoulder. So it's separated and it jutted that bone up. Oh. So he's gonna have to go to a specialist and probably surgically have that repaired. Oh. So, in other words, kids, boogie boarding is dangerous. <laughs> Especially when you ride like an old man, like Ennis does. <laughs> wow. Huge. Huge. But don't scream. No, no, if you no, no. scream, I will scream. Oh. I'm not gonna look. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's like a really Is massive a mosquito bite. The bone thing sticking out. It's swollen now too. See this? That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be black. <laughs> Your daughter. Yeah, she's special. It's a deal breaker, babe. Oh. You treat me like oh. you oh. Does this hurt? Ennis hurt his shoulder, and now Lucas tripped and hurt his knee. It's just one of those days. And this splinter! No! Oh, gross! When you play me for a fool. Ooh, a deal breaker, baby. Well, that was an interesting experience. Uh, I hope you'll. Uh, give Ennis some best wishes. He's gonna need it. That that shoulder of his hurts a lot. He was joking about it, but um, it's not fun. Oh God! You know. Ennis is an amazing guy. Uh, he is 
he has had quite a, an interesting journey. Uh, when he was very young, he was a singer and a performer and uh, down in Mexico and was actually very famous, was opening for Christina Aguilera, was uh, doing a, a tremendous amount of stuff, but things changed. Uh, he became an actor for a period of time. He was on uh, 24 season four. Ennis, correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, down in the comment section, but uh, I believe it was season four. He plays the boyfriend of Jack Bauer's daughter. And he told us today that there was a point at which they thought they were gonna kill him off and at the last minute they kept him alive, not really sure what they were gonna do with this character. And then he basically just had to, they had to lop his leg off and that and that was pretty much the end of his stint. But he, he shot about nine episodes, uh, amazing to watch, great actor, lots of fun, amazing guy. And so sad that, uh, well, not, not sad so much, that he hurt himself today. Those things happen, you know, uh, we all go through th those things and we have to think about the messages that that sends us. You know, what does it mean when things like that happen? To be grateful for your life in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, and, and Innes is certainly an example of someone who is uh, expressing gratitude on a daily basis. He's been through a lot of things and he's a really tremendous guy. His attitude is all that matters. We talked about that the other day because it's not so much that he hurt himself. What matters is his attitude about that. So you, you can't let that event that occurs, uh, your response to it be negative. It has to be, you have to find a way to find the positive aspect of that and that will determine your outcome. People become successful for only two reasons and they stay unsuccessful for only two reasons. And that is that number one, you really don't know what you want in your life and you can't make a decision. So you bumble around trying to figure things out. You gotta make a clear decision. And the second is that you have to believe that you can actually achieve that. You gotta think of something that you really wanna do and then not take steps towards it. So you gotta take steps. You gotta do what you can. You don't have any guarantees of success. You know, I did this kid's book. It's, it's super exciting and it's it's really fun. I'm, I'm really proud to be able to have done it, but it's not gonna be a success if I don't get out there and do some things with it. I gotta spread the word. I got, you know, I, I love it. For me, I love it. I'm excited about it and I, I'm really passionate about it and I know it'll be a success. How it's gonna be a success is not my business, but on a daily basis, I gotta do what I can. Another book recommendation, a quick one, uh, Nothing Succeeds Like Success by Christian D. Larson. If you've never heard of Christian D. Larson, look him up. If you have heard of him and you've read some of his stuff, you'll know some spectacular stuff is going on in some of his books. Look at how thin this is. November 20th. November 20th, if you're watching this blog right now and you want to go to a really cool car show, November 20th, Wheels and Waves at Gladstones, that's where you want to find yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Blog 486. Big thanks. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are, so cool. Cars, beach life, and all things positive. We're just having a great time, you know, other than, you know, hurting their shoulders. Ennis, love you, man. Peace out, brother. We'll see you guys tomorrow.